Hi, I'm Marilee Birchfield, Librarian Liaison to the College of Education and Psychology Department. Happy to have this opportunity to show you some of the great features in Psych Info that will be helpful for this counseling class. Let's imagine we're looking for some articles. And I know that one of the things you're going to be talking about in this class are um, ethics of counseling. So I thought about all that, uh, the virtual counseling that's been going on in virtual mental health services during the pandemic. So I thought we'd work for that as a scenario. So whatever it is that you're looking for, take a step back and just give yourself a little time to think up what are the most important parts of that topic and then generate some key terms. So there could be more terms than this, but just as a starting point, uh, so virtual, distant, distance, um, counseling, counselor, therapy, therapist, uh, ethics, what if they use the word ethical, professional standards, professional behavior, those are some of the ideas that I have in my mind. I'm not necessarily going to use all those terms, but it gives me some options to start with. All right, let's see what happens when we search. So I am at the library's homepage, and I've decided I'm going to go straight into the PsycInfo database. So I'm going to databases, and there's different ways that I could find it. I could search by its name. I could click on the letter P. You might also be interested in educational counseling, school counseling. I'm going to pick the listing of education databases. Because as that librarian, I happen to know that it also, that category lists like info as one of the top databases. So let's get in. All right, so we're going to build our search. Think of each search line as being a different concept for your search. So I'm going to try virtual or dis done. I start typing that and then I put the asterisk after the N so that will find distant or distance, distancing, what I've typed in and then any letters beyond that. I'm going to try also counselor or counseling I've decided to put in and I'm going to use that wild card trick for ethics as well and do your search. Let's see what comes back. So that first one is a whole book, but at this point, I am interested in just analyzing my search results and seeing how I did. Maybe there's some more ideas that I could add to my search. And this first one, oh, okay, the term online therapy, that could be helpful. Telemedicine, sure. Uh, so I could change my search at this point if I wanted. Another feature that sometimes is really helpful in Psych Info is the APA Thesaurus of Psychological Index Terms. When I search it, I'm not yet searching for articles or information about books. I'm searching for the terminology that the Psych Info database uses to tag books and articles. So I am just going to look up telemedicine. I already know because I saw it as one of the tags that PsychInfo uses that term, but the thesaurus can also recommend other terms for me. Sometimes it lets me know what that term means. But as I look through this, there's some much broader terms. We already knew about online therapy, hmm, teleconsultation, telepsychiatry, telepsych, 
telepsychology. Um, maybe, maybe digital interventions would be interesting to me. Uh, it's just giving me a lot more possibilities of search terms. So don't forget the thesaurus. Another thing with the search that I want to point out, we're going to go back and redo that search, but some features, if I scroll down in Psych Info, that I find really helpful sometimes, if I'm interested in a particular age group, Psych Info has tagged those age groups and they have specific age groups already defined. So if the age group is important to you, choose it within the age group box and you can choose more than one. Sometimes as a way to narrow my search results, the population group can be important. Maybe I'm getting a lot of results back, tests that were done on rats and I'm not interested in that. I want to find uh, tests that were done on humans, people talking about uh, their studies. So I could pick human, male, transgender, female, and also inpatient and outpatient. So if any of those are important to you, use the population group box. Sometimes the methodology can be helpful uh, way to narrow. So those are all options for you. I'm going to go back and I'm going to change my search um, a fair bit. So I have some other terms. I'm going to switch to online therapy or telemedicine or telepsychology. I still am interested in the idea of counselor or counseling, but I think some of those words um, kind of get at that idea. So I'm just going to try putting in ethics, again with the asterisks as my search. And let's see what happens. Okay, I would take a look through these results. I found more, but also, you know, are they on target? Sometimes I may see the whole text there, a link to the PDF. If I don't, uh, this article might still be of interest. I could check for full text from this point, or if I click on the title of the article, I could get a little more information about it and know, yes, that does look interesting to me. I also find the check for full text link on this screen. Maybe we have it and we have it online. So I'm going to let the computer do its work. It is checking and the library has paid for that article. So I could download the PDF from here. Lots of options for searching, So, but now you know the basics for how to build a search. It all starts with brainstorming and, you know, spend some time looking through the results and just try different searches.